I never thought I'd <gasps> get through D-Day. I think that's homie. I think everybody had fear. I think uh, Ooh, people, chills again. people that can handle fear. I think I was probably one of them. I think I was just as scared as anybody else, except I could think. We all had fear. Yeah, it's interesting hearing what they say, and then oh. in the episodes, it feels like sometimes they give clues <laughs> as to like right. who could be maybe. Right. We gonna find Meehan? Oof. They survived the crash? Or is this them finding the crash? No, this is them. Okay, never mind. This is easy, easy company. Blythe. Hey, Blythe. Blythe! Oh man, he was all completely discombobulated. I thought that was you. You alone? You're the first familiar faces I've seen. Oh. They dropped us all over the Cottontown Peninsula. I've been uh, trying to find easy. Join the club. Oh, man. Hey, fellas. Well, you know what? decided to show up, Floyd. Get a load of this, thanks, huh? You like that? Oh no. You like that? <laughs> My lure is gonna put you all to shame when I get it. <laughs> Got any souvenirs to trade? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like the guy on the street in New York song watches. You learn to Lieutenant Mia in your travels? No. Wow. They think the plane went down. They say mm. he's gonna turn up. Yeah, I ain't holding my breath. Let's go! First platoon! Yeah, he seems right mm. shook up. Mm hmm. Listen up! No talking, no smoking, and no playing grab fanny with the man in front of you, Lars. <laughs> We're taking care in town. First platoon, falling behind Fox Company. You people from 2nd and 3rd platoon, follow us. Why spread disease? Oh, my goodness gracious, sir. <laughs> he looks disgusted. Why? We lost F Company, sir. Again? We lost F Company. Again? Come on, Blythe. Did you send somebody? Yeah, yeah I got Hublin Blythe out there now. Why have we stopped? This is about officers crapping out on their training, Nicks. Come on, let's get the show on the road. What is it? Shh. Flash. Thunder. I can hear y'all all the way across the field. <laughs> where y'all been? Tell them we found F Company. I'll figure out where these yokels are at. Hey, who y'all calling a yokel? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, poor guy. He's dead, that riser. Jeez. Tony. Tony, have me. That's Edelweiss. That only grows uh, in the Alps above the tree line. Which means he climbed up there to get it. It's supposed to be the mark of a true soldier. Mm. That's cool. I wanted to take the first straight up the middle, hard and fast. We have to move quickly. I'll be right behind you with second and third. It's so crazy to see so many towns on fire. Yeah, it's sad. It's so sad. It makes me think of like the burning of the Library of Alexandria and right. stuff. It's like history that's just <clears throat> gone forever. Absolutely, yeah. Oh shit, we're getting right into the midst of it. That dude reminds me so much of Sam Rockwell. It is so crazy. Moving, will ya? Let's get out of there! Move out! Move out! That guy's bulletproof. We're not gonna Poor guy. Get you want to talk about the epitome of what they would call shell shocks? I mean, what else were they really gonna do? You got some cojones. Yeah, man. he that did. Was... That was so ballsy. That was serious. That was awesome. <laughs> we gotta take that warehouse. Timber, take leave. Got to start clearing these buildings. Right. Come on, 
There we go. Bust that shit wide open. Yeah, seriously. You never see such common use of grenades in in war movies. I know. Oh. Good instincts, oh. man. How did he know? Ooh, that would have fucked you up. Oh my god. What kind of that? Oh, they're coming from out. Yeah. Like in a scene in Fury. Get the hell out of there! They got a zeroed. I don't know where you want to be. Oh shit. Like, you don't want to be in that room. No. No. No, no. Shit. They're just fucking it up. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Shit. Oh, oh. Oh, Okay, Everything's right where it should be. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you think at minimum he's deaf. Mm. Yeah, I'd be <sighs> so jumpy. I'm surprised they were retreating. They, mm -hmm. The Americans didn't seem like they really had the high ground. Lieutenant mm -mm. Winner, what's that, sir? Is it safe to cross? You want to move the wound? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, shit. Did he get hit? It just ricocheted. Yeah. There she is. Plasma drip. Oh, ho, ho. No. Just caught a piece of it. We got a plan, Chief. No, we expect a counterattack. Carrington's as important to them as it is to us. You're gonna be all right? Yeah. Good. What's wrong with Blythe? Well, nothing. Except he can't see. He can't see? So he says. They think that happened to Hitler for a while, too. <clears throat> After World War I. Uh -huh. You... The stress is so bad that you go blind, but there's mm. nothing medically wrong right. with you. Blythe? It's Lieutenant Winters. What happened? I don't know, sir. But things, they just kind of went black on me. But you can't see? I think, sir. I can't see a thing. Well, you just take it easy, Blythe. I'm gonna get you out of here. It's gonna be okay. Oh, that's gut-wrenching. I didn't uh, want to let anyone down. Okay, son. Sir. Yeah, what is it? Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm okay. Oh, well. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. You can see? I don't know what happened. I, I, think, I think I'm okay. Oh, wow. Well, stay here a little while longer and uh, and make sure. And uh, then you can report back to your platoon. Oh, wow. Now, can we get that bandage on? It's like we learned so many things about different weird ailments in World War II. It's like, what were they learning in, like, Greek right. fighting and stuff, you know? Like... Enjoy while it lasts. We'll be moving out soon. Is that the... I think... I know we're just getting settled here. Is that the one who went over and like when he was talking to the one, like from Oregon, and then he went over, offered them all cigarettes, and shot him? Is yes. that the same guy? Yeah. I told you, 
I didn't actually see it. What, Spear shooting the prisoners oh, or Spears the sergeant in his own platoon? Who knows if it's true? Spear seems kind of cold-blooded, man. Spears posed those prisoners. What? Spears comes across this group of Kraut prisoners. He breaks out a pack of smokes, even gives them a light. Then, all yeah. of a sudden, he swings up his Thompson and... I mean, goddamn! Gives him smokes first? Yeah. You didn't see her, he didn't do it. Oof. Oh, God. Mm. Now I'm happy I'm, I didn't eat. Oh, no, no, it was him, all right. But it was more than eight guys. More like 20. All except one guy who we left alone. Well, all I know, from what I heard, he took that last 105 on D-Day practically by himself. I don't care if any of the other mm. stuff's true. Mm. Mm. I'm going to have to take care of everybody's word for it. I didn't see any of it. Let's go! First platoon, weapons on me! We're moving out. The big fields always make me nervous. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like for it's sure. just open. They stick out. Mm-hmm. Lutz, how far are we going? Until they tell us to stop. <laughs> Answer me this, then. Why is Easy Company the only company who's either at the front of an advance or, like now, exposed at the far edge of the line? <laughs> Think of it. See there? You see there? <gasps> <laughs> I do. Because you're the strongest company. <laughs> this man is just getting it from all sides. Yeah, it's hard because it's not just something that like you just get over. No. And then you can put him back in the same situation. Yeah. It's like, well, you're just going to get the same results. Yeah. The other thing, though, is I get what homie is talking about because it's like you don't use your best pair of scissors to cut paper either. So it's like every right. time they send these guys into a dangerous situation, they lose dudes. The mm -hmm. company gets weaker. So it's right. like if you strategically use them to smash important things. Right. No way. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. What's the news? They're in their hedgerow wearing ours. What happened to the aid station today? Doc Rowley called it hysterical blindness. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. It's a game, Blythe. That's all. We, you know, we're just Oof. moving the ball forward one yard at a time. So you can look at it. What is sir, this? The whole thing. Just a game. Mm. You know, I haven't seen. Does anyone have a radio? They had it. I think last, the beginning of this episode, right before they took the town, they were on the radio. Okay. I knew that town was too easy. May have been on their way to a counterattack when we ran into them here. Strength unknown. Mm. And we're attacking at first light, 0530. How is it? Hurts. <laughs> War as hell. <gasps> you. Jesus. I didn't know that. Gosh. Medic! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I can breathe. breathe. Okay, I'm sticking some soap on the wound, Floyd. You're gonna be fine. What the hell is that? Sounds like it's coming from third platoon. Then go take a look. Oh. Oh, man. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one little bit. I'm getting sweaty. Flash. Thunder. Thunder! Lieutenant Spears, sir. Where you going, Private? Check out the noise, sir. I just came from there. Everything's under control. He does kind of seem like a psycho a he, bit. he is very, very... I just don't see how simple it is. Oh, he's dark man. <laughs> he's a dark, dark man. Simple what is, sir? Just do what you have to do. Like you did on D-Day, sir? Hmm. <laughs> Sir, when I landed on D-Day, I found myself in a ditch all by myself. When I woke up, I didn't really try to find my unit. I just kind of stayed put. What's your name, Trooper? He's about to fucking shoot him. Blast you. He has the darkest... No, 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 no. You know why you hid in that ditch, Blythe? Oh, no. Scared. 
We're all scared. Look how tired I am, people. You hid in that ditch because you think there's still hope. But Blythe, the only hope you have is to accept the fact that you're already dead. <gasps> and the sooner you accept that, the sooner you'll be able to function as a soldier is supposed to function. Without mercy, without compassion, all war depends upon it. Okay, please don't shoot him. Jesus. Oh, I was so scared because we were talking about how he had shot his own man. Oh, that made me right. so nervous. Oh, yeah. <gasps> no, we don't know what they've done. Okay? We may be attacking a weaker force, possibly more paratroopers. Dog and Fox companies will be on our left flank moving with us. Any questions? Let's make them holler. <laughs> Ouch. Definitely carry on my tension in my neck. Again, alone. <gasps> you just have to bounce, right? You, you like, I, how do you stay in? That? Like, Sir, the dog and fox are pulling back. What? There's a tank. Yeah. Like, you're not taking out the. Okay, I was right. Yeah, you just gotta. Bounce. You gotta go. <laughs> Who gave that order? Like what? Just Look like, at that motherfucker! That's who gave yeah, that order. Gave yeah, that tank gave that fucking order, yo. Get the fuck out. Come on, Blind! Stand up! That's right, Blind! You can do it! Fire on your rusher, Blind! Get those goddamn troops, Blind! I don't think Winners is there. Okay, maybe yes. Oh, you thought it was hallucinant? I did, I really did, yeah. Hurry on, they, they, come on. Let them retreat. No! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Come on! You're gonna get me killed, Lieutenant! I knew you'd get me killed! <laughs> um. Oh no. Oh my god! Hey, there you go. Yeah, that was clean. Oh! Wait, did they not get blown? Well, who got blown up that by that shot? Dude's hanging out in the tree oh, line. Okay. And uh, spears. Oh, in the knee. I haven't seen him almost this whole movie. He's popped I mean, up here. this episode. He's, he's popped up a little bit. Since the beginning. Since he asked why does Sobo hate us. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <sighs> yeah, seriously. Y'all yeah, took me on a trip again. Yeah, that was looking brutal mm -hmm. without him. They do look way more powerful, like, in this than in Fury. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's... Cause you know how, like, they're giving it about the tanks. Also, a chunk of them hanging out in the, uh... Yeah. Fury actually sent a little heavier of a load too. It's mm -hmm. got that that uh, kind of muzzle brake looking thing right, at the right, end right. of it. So. Oh, oh, we're just, oh, I'm so happy I didn't have both headphones in for that. Oh. <laughs> BA, but still. Oh. Come on. Oh. 
I hope that gives him some confidence or something. Or, or it's going to destroy him even more mentally. I don't know. Poor guy. Yeah, back then cigarettes used to come in MREs. <laughs> Ugh. This dude's always alone. He is. It's really sad. But I honestly think he wasn't supposed to be in that ditch. He just couldn't move. You know what right, I mean? Right, like, he, he wasn't supposed that, yeah. to be alone. Hey, buddy, you okay? Looks like you fellas had a heck of a fight. He's gonna go get a souvenir. Okay. Or go make sure he's dead. Oh, that's tight. Woof. That is cool. He wants to go get it himself, you know. Mm -hmm. Mark of a true soldier. Mm -hmm. Need to take a look at that farmhouse. Who wants to go? <laughs> I'll go. Anybody else? What a guy. Martin, I love Duke, head. when you just volunteered. Haba haba. <laughs> I'll be lead. Live lead scout. Move out. Yeah, I'll be lead. You got forced to go. <laughs> Screw mm -hmm. you. Easy, I ain't never would have guessed. What? I'm so sentimental. <laughs> no, that you think we're gonna make it back to England. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> no, I don't like that music. <laughs> you know, even without it, I was stressing, I cutting know. back and forth to uh... them, talking about some BS while these guys are yeah. somewhere dangerous. Watch it just be like some farmer too. What happened? Sniper. They're pulling us off the front line. Now? Hot food. And showers. Jesus Christ. Back to England. Right as he got shot. If he, he could have stuck it out for like two more minutes. Yeah. Talk about timing. Yeah, seriously. Mm. How's the leg? Stiff. Sore. Talked to Colonel Singh. Said General Taylor was pleased. Mm. That's why I came to France. <laughs> <laughs> Please, General Taylor. <laughs> yeah. I like Harry a lot. Mm -hmm. He's like a real straight shooter. It is my honor to present you with the Order of the Purple Heart. That Popeye? Oh no, I think it's Blythe. Oh, that's Blythe. That's Popeye, though. Isn't oh, it? oh right, right, right. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, with his butt. <laughs> hey, I got one hole in my shoulder, a second in my calf, then there's the boil on my shin that had to be lanced. Now he only gets one. <laughs> boil on my shin. He is probably not right. I thought he was dead, though. So oh, a high percent. I thought they were pan into his body. It's just his coat. And yeah, you're right. I mean, this. He's not going back home 100. percent No, I hope they had. I'm a amazed they saved him. Yeah. He got shot in the neck. Right. I definitely thought he was gonna bleed out. That's hard now. Mm-hmm. The night was filled with dark and cold. <laughs> He's wearing all three. The stories told. They check the lines dressed like a crowd. Fast asleep, he called his name. Smith. Oh, Smith. Do you guys have any idea what he's talking about? The night of the bayonet. <laughs> the night of the bayonet. <laughs> Whatever that is. Very weary. Very cracked an eye, all red and bleary. No, oh, he's good. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, I thought he got jacked. And skewered the boy from Kokomo. <laughs> <laughs> Since you weren't wounded by the enemy and thus didn't qualify for a Purple Heart, we've taken matters into our own hands. <laughs> oh. Pat, this is for you. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> And it take matters in there. <laughs> you could have one of my three, ones from a boil. <laughs> like... I just didn't think we could spare a man. <laughs> oh, he's about to tell them they're going back out. Seems like all that ever happens. Yeah. Like... We're heading back to France. So pack up all your gear. We will not be returning to England, boys. As you were. Oh, that's 
a buzzkill. Good morning, Miss Lamb. Um, sorry to bother you so early. That's all right. Uh, Private Malarkey. Actually, it's Sergeant Malarkey now, ma'am. I just got promoted. Hey, good for him. Oh. I expect you'll be wanting your laundry. I heard the trucks. Yes, ma'am. Looks like for good this time. Lieutenant Neon's one of yours, isn't he? I hope he hasn't forgotten his laundry. I'll take it. Thank you. Couldn't be a dear help me with a few others, could you? Uh, so these are all just dead people Sergeant that... Sergeant Evans, Miller, Owen. Oh, this is how they're confirming it. Elliot. They were all on the same. Blythe. Mm-hmm. Oh, Blythe didn't make it. By the time Easy Company was pulled off the line, June <gasps> that's just 65 men, yeah. Albert Blythe never recovered from the wounds. Oh, got it. Okay, so he did. I'm kind of surprised they showed him. Oh, well, they, they got me at the. Oh. It's like airplanes just circle the house. It is so <laughs> strange. Like, there's nowhere in the world this many airplanes. Even. Um, okay, yeah, they really fake you out because they make you think Blythe dies, and then they're like, oh, no, he didn't. Yeah. Here he is. He's fine. And then he does die. So that's sad. So, yeah, so those guys all died. So, Winners is going to be in charge for the foreseeable. I mean, unless they have okay. some kind of weird thing against them to try to make another captain or someone in charge of the of easy company right well at this point it really wouldn't make much sense because he's no he's he, like he's yeah. hitting his targets totally for completely yeah. so yeah. i wouldn't see it happening but i mean and they don't just don't have know. like people to spare to like shuffle exactly anyway so yeah it wouldn't make sense so okay so that's interesting yeah sucks that Blythe died it was kind of interesting because this was like the Blythe episode so yeah I felt like he might die because it's like we're just gonna spend a whole like you do this in they they did this in the movies we saw too. You'll spend you'll take like a character and that character has mm -hmm. to represent all of the whatever mm -hmm. that happens. And so it's like Blythe is probably going to be our PTSD guy mm -hmm. um, who just was shell shocked during the war. And, and we may not interact with too much of people like him again mm -hmm. because he just kind of is like the guy who represents everybody who is going mm -hmm. through that. Um, so yeah, that is really sad. It's sad too because he kind of like. Seems he, to have figured it he out. He came by into the end. his own. Yeah, That's what, what he, yeah. sucked. Is like he, he pulled himself he, up a bit. And... Yeah, he branched out. He was able, like, he was able to admit like his faults and what he did. And then he came back and was like, "I'm gonna do this." And like, yeah, I'll volunteer to go do this because I am like a yeah, true soldier. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? What that yeah. Edelweiss represents and taking yeah. that, and then to go out and then for it. I mean, I hate to say it like this. Like, you can't write that. You know, like it sucks because, like, yeah, had it yeah, like, yeah. like you said, like when we were watching it, had it just been, you know, thirty seconds later, right? They would have had the order that they were moving that is out. Sad, yeah. So no, that's that is really awful. sad. That but... is so awful, right? Right when he gets freaking shot, yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. Um, it's also interesting. The other kind of secondary weird character that had a, a lot of things going on was uh, Spears. Oh, yeah. I, I genuinely thought the man was gonna shoot. Well, it's just because I know, I know, it's like guys gossiping essentially about like what he's done and stuff he's like which i shot what, my own man which is why like, i thought it was the opposite i yeah. thought the gossip was all bs yeah and so it's like okay they're showing how like they but it wasn't because we watched we saw him shoot a malarkey watched well, what him we do saw, that i was thinking that they might have been trying to trick us because all we saw was malarkey walk away and then hear the gunshots and turn around and we never actually saw anything I so guess, i was like that but... that could have been a whole device to be like ah you assumed this was going on but really this was going on maybe kind of i don't know he he still has um, dead eyes. Well, he does. His eyes are d dead. <laughs> it's how I would give stage direction if I was trying to trick people, yeah. into, you know, thinking that that's what was going on. But it's not um, So the, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, it? So it's interesting that they, it, I think they... There's a good opportunity for them to think that we'll think that they're just gossiping, so it's not anything. So when it does yeah. come through that he does seem really crazy, um, which it is, so then it's more surprising. But also it's good, too, because it's kind of cool how the different lieutenants and stuff kind of represent different kinds mm -hmm. of people that do end up there. Right. Um, reminds me of, like, in Apocalypse Now, like, a guy's, you know, shooting a bunch of villagers, and someone's like, how can you do that? And how can you shoot women and children? He's like, it's easy. You just lead them less. It's like, you do <laughs> run into those kinds of people who, like, maybe the war is not great for them. Um, so, yeah, so Spears is 
it's I don't know. It's still really interesting. He's like, you just you just accept the fact that you're already dead. Exactly like, right. Yeah. Ooh. He's like, you know, you know why you're acting like that. He's like, oh, because yeah. I'm scared. He's like, no, we're all scared. He's well, like, because you had hope. Yeah. It's like, oh man, yeah. Hey, you want to talk about the the literal opposite of the pep talk Winters was giving him? Well, hundred percent, right? Yeah. yeah, and that's why I think it's it's very interesting seeing how those two are like very close to each other in proximity, and they're almost exact yeah. mentality opposites. And then I think Harry, I don't remember his last name, but he almost feels like he's exactly in the middle. Right. He's got some of the cynicism that Spears has, but right. he's also. Um, he was very, uh, not super encouraging, but he was encouraging. He went to go yeah. hang out with, with him. So it was almost like the tale of those three types of, mm-hmm. like, one is super optimistic, one super pessimistic, and then the guy who was kind of like this neutral character mm-hmm. in the middle who was like, hey, it's all a game. We're just moving the football forward. Yeah. That is more cynical than what winners would say, but it was less cynical than what Spears yeah. <laughs> did say. So it was just very interesting. For um, sure. So, yeah, there was there was a lot of really, like, this, this one was a bit more... Um, of like interesting storytelling devices, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but it's also crazy because yeah, it feels like people you know die every episode, so it's like it makes you wonder if that's cons- if that's going to be consistent, and we're going to get down to just like a small amount of people, right? Um, or if it's going to kind of level off, and we'll start to get a feel for like okay, here's the people that we should kind of be hanging out with. Right. Um, well, basically, the main characters that we had saw in episode two made it out. In episode three, right? A lot of them got, a lot of them got, got injured. injured. In ways yeah, they did. In ways that I thought they were done. <laughs> yeah, and I thought like the, like Lipton, Lipton being there. Done. I thought he was out. Like, Didn't he take like a direct hit from like it a was rocket like, or something? Like it blew up in the front of his feet yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, it's like ugh. I thought he was done skis. Um, and then uh, what do you call it? Um, the kid who got stabbed with the bayonet. Yeah. Thought he was done. <laughs> I thought he was absolutely. I kind of liked how the guy was like, he's like, I got three. And then like, the one was for the boil or whatever. So he gave it away. So like, funny. like what? That's so great. Um, he only gets one and he's like dying. And then you got one for a boil. And then the one kid got shot in the butt. So I figured that he oh, might yeah. be okay. I'm like, if they can get him out of there, then Good I, old can, Popeye. I can see them working on that. But I mean, stab wounds to the chest is yeah. serious. And the whole thing exploded. I mean, again, at minimum, you think he'd be deaf. Yeah. Um, it's like a gunshot is enough to, you know, the gun you're firing yeah. is no, enough to hit, really yeah. mess with your ear. So let alone a freaking explosion like that. So good golly. Yeah, good on him. Um, so, yeah. So, so very interesting. So, okay. So they, that little, I thought they were saying that that little town they're at wasn't Carrington itself. But was it then, I guess? No, it was Carrington. Okay, That's, they, it was. they show thought... okay. So when they're coming up out of the field and they're coming into the town, they're at the road and they have the, like, then they have to jump in the trenches. There's a sign right there that oh, says there was. Carrington. Okay, I thought afterward when they left that the guy said that like, oh, they're like going to fall back to like Carrington. This was like a, a, a well, play, a thing they were the saying that they, they were advancing. Were they were had been they were advancing. It was a counterattack, but they ran into that counterattack. Well, that's the group that they were there. Yes, right there, right? So yeah, they yeah, thought yeah. they were gonna have to pull back to go ahead and hold the city again. Which a heck of a counterattack because they had tanks and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So, I mean, that is a scary thing. That's why I was like, oh, when he brought up that, like, we know we don't know mm-hmm. the strength of the thing is because, like, there could be anything over there. Like, there yeah. could be tanks, you know, and then yeah. there was. And so that was really scary. So luckily, yeah, those Shermans just happened to show up. I'm curious about, like, from their... Per- you know, that actually reminds me so much of the scene. You brought up Fury. It reminds yeah. me of the specific scene when the guys are all stuck and then mm-hmm. the tanks have to roll up and kind of right. get them out of that position. Like, that scene is actually so the, similar. Very much so. They're literally there stuck in in kind of a little valley and mm-hmm. then the tanks show up and, and open up the space for him to be able to fall back like that's so crazy um except the other guys only had to fight against you know machine guns that were mounted versus you know tank on tanks like, you're right that's gotta be so scary because everyone is like one good shot away from you know killing the other group exactly um and you're so slow that it's like there's probably not a whole lot of missing going on right so it's like just who can it is crazy like how they like faster. advance like mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, because you expect it to be faster, you know, but it's just not. Well, nowadays yeah. they move. Yeah, <laughs> like, I bet. Fast tanks now. Um, but yeah, for back then, it's also cool, too. Like, I'm glad that we did see, like, Saving Private Ryan and Fury, because I feel like we have so much more perspective on, like, some of the little nuanced things. Yeah. Like, we've seen what the inside of the tank crews look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of, like, map that on to what you're looking at. It almost, it's like, just because, like, we've 
both like don't have like a huge background in World War Two, so it's like almost like, even though those are fictional char- like fictional storylines, yeah. it still like bakes the premise and makes this almost hit harder. You know what I mean? To see it like to so, know yeah. that it's a true story. So I'm kind of I'm really happy we watched those two first, no, just because I, I feel right. like it built my knowledge and I can like right. I can more I can take away more from the storyline versus being right. like I don't understand what's really yes, going on. Exactly. You rather, know what yeah, I mean? Rather than just being totally confused the whole time, right? Seeing things that you've seen before. Exactly. So but like, just oh, okay. and you can just take it in a different perspective too. Mm-hmm. So it's also, a little, I feel like I have a better and stuff. a better wit like a better grasp of kind of the um, top down things that were kind yes. of going on too. Yeah, exactly. Especially because Saving Private Ryan, it's like, so when they go here and this is, you know, when they're going to go strike the beach, I kind of know what's happening at the right. beach at the same time. And so those that like, it kind of gives you a better overall picture. Right. Not just kind of like, I'm just waiting to like hear every word that comes out. Of exactly. Know anything about what's going right. on. Um, exactly. We also kind of like, you know, even Fury talked about kind of timeline a little mm-hmm. bit of the whole war too. Right. So it's kind of like, okay, they're kind of around this point and stuff. So it's, 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 yeah, it keeps it, um, more accessible, which is kind of cool. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, episode three, Carrington, and we'll catch you guys over on episode four. See you guys.